All right, let's get the razor scraper out here. This blade is still fairly sharp. Now what you want to do with the razor scraper, you don't want to, just because the blade is four inches, you don't want to try to get this all up in four inches at, at a go. To start it, you can, but then what I do is I'll put, I'll put more weight just on the last inch of it, let's say, and just try to take up. I'm just going to go up and concentrate on this one square first. I'm taking off about a half inch to three quarters at a time. And if I think the other side of the blade is sharper, I can put pressure on that to try to get some more of this off. And I can try on this side for a while. Flip it around. See, it's still going to take me a while to do this floor, but I'm so glad that this scraper seems to be working way better than what I was doing before. Now, see, you can take the whole four inches, but then you got to exert a lot more pressure. I find is if I take it off in little strips. I'm okay. And then I can kind of do it at an angle. You know, hold this at an angle if I want. Push that out of there. I can slide that at an angle if that works better for you. I got my trusty knee pad. Next, my knees. Flip that around. That side seems to be getting dull on this edge here. So I'm going to have to work it on this bottom edge. And then, see, if this edge is still sharp, I can go this way and I can flip it over and I'm going to go from here over, but I'm going to have to start over here and then work this way. Because you want to get all four edges of your blade before, before you think you have to change your blade because we've got uh, the edge on both sides, okay? So when I'm doing this, if I'm starting here, I've got this portion of the blade from here to there. Then I can flip it over I got this portion of the blade from here to here. Then I can go over, over here, flip this over, and I've got this portion of the blade sharp. Then I can flip it again over here, and I got that side sharp. Remember, I didn't, I didn't try that yet. So say I'm using this edge of the blade from here to there. Because when you use these razor scrapers, you're not going to be using the full four inches this way, the full four inches that way. So see that side's still sharp. Now I can just start right here if I want. I guess I don't want to slide over there too far because I've already sprayed that and my mat's getting kind of slippery now. That side of the blade is still sharp, so I, I've got to realize that and know that I need to keep using this blade for a while longer using this edge. So now I can, I can just keep using that edge. I'll go this way if I have to. Okay. And then every once in a while I'm still going to flip it over. Because sometimes you think one side's sharp. And then all of a sudden you flip it over and it's already kind of sharpened itself slightly or maybe it's bent this slightly out of whack. You just have to keep flipping, flipping it too and see the last thing you want to do is change this blade before the whole life of it is over. Okay. And especially when you get up next to the wall, make sure you can see this up next to the wall. You can. Okay. 
when you get up next to the wall, what you should do is don't, if you're going to scrape up there, don't use a brand new uh, sharp blade. When your blade gets fairly dull, now you can kind of feel over that, or you can take a putty knife along there. Let's get a putty knife. I'm pretty sure I'm okay, but you just have to kind of go through the motions. Because remember, there used to be tack strip here. And the nails, some of the nails, I had to break off. Then I pulled the tile off. And then, maybe some of these, if any of these are sticking up ever so slight, can you see that if I go over it with this razor scraper, I could chip this, I could break off a tip. Now all of a sudden it's like, oh darn it. Damn it, man, it. It's broke. And now I have to change the blade or only use a little bit of the blade at a time. Okay. So I always, even though I didn't feel anything, I'm still going to be careful when I get up to this edge. See, there's a, there's a lot of glue on there. And you can still see the lines, the lines in the glue here. But now when I spray the cleaner on there, it's going to have an effect of loosening that up a little bit. More so than if I didn't leave this top layer on. kind of easy, but you get down on the floor and try it, and you're going to be like, oh man, i got to do this whole room this way, or I have to do the whole hallway this way, or whatever your job is. Maybe you're taking out the backing of linoleum in your bathroom to replace it with something else. You can use a razor scraper. And then that kind of glue for under linoleum, I would still wet it down. You don't necessarily have to use cleaner. You can use water with that. Sponge and sponge it. Put the water down. Let it saturate there for a while. And then start scraping. You might be able to use a taller scraper. But see, i got to get down and dirty. i got to get right down to here and, and exert a lot of force to get all this glue out. That's why I opted not to get the long... 10 inch wide blade, then I'm pushing more of it through, but granted, on a 10 inch, I'm still, I would still only be using about an inch. I mean, I could have, I could have got one of those, and maybe later on, maybe I can get one of those, and maybe I'll do that to a certain extent up high, and then anything I don't get with that, I can come down on the floor and use this little scraper here. So there's all kinds of things that can be used to scrape a floor.